Okay, let's just start off with what's happening in Namibia, particularly with the this demand that you have through. seen, and um, going forward, you know, what you would like to do with regard to expanding your operations. It seems uh, well, um, Mr. Namibia is set for, for growth. We, we have set ourselves. Do go ahead, we can hear you. We set ourselves targets for, for growth. Um, we have a number of cities and towns on the African continent which we want to capture starting from 2011, going up to 2015, 2016, like any other business that is ambitious to grow. When you talk about we, that... We know that Namibia is... Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, Namibia is a very good destination, be it for business, be it for tourism. Um, we will be aggressively promoting Namibia for people to come to Namibia and enjoy the tranquility, the peace, and also the, the gifts that we have from nature. This is a very tough industry. Talk to us about the cost of expanding into the routes that you want to operate in now. Yes. Uh, we obviously have underlying business cases that we have done. Um, feasibility studies have been done. So if you, if you don't expand, you will remain with very high uh, unit costs. So the, the bigger your operations, in terms of the, the broader your base of um, economies of scale, that is how you try to reduce the cost. We are heavily exposed to other operating costs like the fuel, fuel price. We have mechanisms which we try to use to mitigate the impact, but we unfortunately cannot pass all those costs on to the passenger, but we have to survive. All other airlines have to absorb the same shocks. Talking about having to survive in these tough financial conditions, how do you plan to, uh, how do you plan to fund this expansion? Okay, we have... Um, a shareholder, we also have financial institutions which we deal with. So we use both um, equity contribution as well as uh, borrowed funds to fund the expansion. There is also a lot of capital, capital expenditure requirements which we have provided for. When you talk about that, that you have provided for, would that, be, would that come from, from you know, um, just the, the airline itself and reserves you may have because one of the one of the criticisms has just been how much the Namibian taxpayer has had to put into the airline. Well, the Namibian taxpayer needs to understand that there is a business case underlying the funds that are being put in, into Air Namibia. And Air Namibia should not be seen as an isolated entity, but it's part of the bigger uh, value chain, which if it's cut, the, the losses to the country and the economy will be much higher than the, the taxpayer's contribution to sustain Air Namibia. Let's just talk about the countries that you, that you, that you plan to expand the, the, the routes into now. Zimbabwe, Botswana, and southern Angola. We do see that it, the global economy is still subdued. Are you seeing, uh, what kind of demand are you seeing from these, from these regions? Okay, at a global level, we have seen that for 2011, um, air travel markets grew by about 2.8%. Whereas Africa, as a market on its own, grew much higher than the uh, global average. So um, Africa is where growth potential and prospects are. And we are fortunate to be part of the African market. And we will not sit by and let opportunities pass by. When if you look around the aviation industry today, you'll find that a lot of um, non-African airlines are increasing their flights into Africa. So the whole um, industry is, is positive about the potential that are, that are in Africa. When you talk about expanding your routes and your operations, you would probably be talking about increasing your staff capacity, increasing the amount of aircraft that you have. Would, you, would that um, constitute part of this expansion? Yes. Um, in terms of ground support personnel, we will not be increasing that much. But flight crews, both cockpit and cabin, we will be taking in additional uh, manpower to sustain the growth.
And in terms of fleet, uh, the number of aircraft that will be entering the fleet is much smaller than the expansion program. So in the end, you'll find that our aircraft and crew utilization will be much higher, which will result in reduced um, unit cost on the fixed cost component of our expenditure bucket. Do you have a timeline of this expansion to see how successful it would be? Do you have a timeline of, of well, if it's successful by this year, then we would probably expand into other African regions? Well, what we'll be doing going forward is we'll be growing the business. We will be adding uh, frequencies to existing on existing routes. We'll be s adding new destinations to our existing uh, network. So it's not something that you can say will expand up to uh, year 2015 and stop. We'll continue growing. Thank you so much for joining. And then as we as we as we con as we continue to grow the business, we will be evaluating those routes which do not seem to be adding value. Obviously, we'll have to change, either drop them or strange the strategy. But it's an ongoing management process. Thank you so much for joining us. That was Xavier Masule, General Manager of Commercial Services at Air Namibia.